Just a quick reminder that you can check us out every week on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or YouTube. You can also join our Discord or Reddit page at r slash splitviewpodcast. Links are all on our YouTube channel. Hello, people. Welcome to Flickview. How's it going? Thank you for tuning in to another movie review. Movie by review. The two. By the two. Nice. Cool. Sweet. The two best guys. <clears throat> two best guys. This week, we watched the movie Elysium. 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 Yeah. Um, and, it, I mean, this is probably the... Is this the most, like, high-profile movie we've ever watched? Maybe, yeah. I'd say it's probably the most... Uh... Dude, Doom. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, we did watch Home Alone. That's pr- that's probably more high-profile I mean, than this. Maybe, but that's, like, a Christmas movie. Yeah. I'd say, yeah, probably. It's the most, like well-produced, most funded... It's a triple A movie, you know what I mean? A Hollywood movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um... About Elysium, you know? What, 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 what is Elysium about, Geordie? Um, so there is... A, is, is what's this guy's name? Is it Matt Damon? Is that wrong? Matt Damon. Is it Matt Damon? Yeah, it's yeah, Matt okay. Damon. I always feel bad about saying actors, because I, I, my memory's terrible. Matt um, Damon. Matt Macadamia was, uh, Macadamia was, um, he was into some bad shit, right? But then he stopped. He's a bad boy. He's a, he's he's a, a bit boy. of a gangbanger. Yeah. He was a bad boy and then he stopped to do what? I don't think he was doing anything in that time, was he? I can't really remember. He was working at a factory, wasn't he? Oh, that's he? right. Yeah. 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 That's right. He was working at a factory and one of the, one of the days he shows up and of course his boss hates him, you know? That's just the... His boss... I don't think he hates him. I think he's in the same situation. He's being fucking oppressed by, like... Yeah. This movie's about classism, funnily enough. Absolutely it is. And, like, he's kind of projecting onto... What is Elysium? We haven't even set that up. Um, it's, like, the... That's the name of the so-called, like... Sanctuary. Sanctuary. In lower Earth atmosphere. Yeah. So it's kind of like if you've ever played Halo... Like the rings. <laughs> Except it's not designed to kill all of humanity. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe. Anyway, so it's like a ring, but like in, in the whole ring, you it's can live. It's a spaceship live. ring. Yeah, spaceship ring, and you can live in it. And it looks like Earth, but it's just a little ring. It uses centrifugal around. forces to uh, to provide gravity Yeah. on the internal diameter. And so the at the moment, Matt Damon, at the start of the movie, he's on Earth. He's not, like, the whole... Uh, point he's, is he's a, little, trying, he's a little boy at the start of the he's movie he's a little boy at the start of the movie yeah but the goal is to get to elysium yeah. so that they can live happily and prosper and all that good stuff you yeah. know but of course you have to be one of the elite to get mm. to elysium the higher class absolutely one percent geordie and when we see our main character he is in rags you know he yes. is not yes. doing so well yes. and then one fateful day in the in the uh Workshop. I thought you were about to do fucking uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. I do love that show though. Yeah. Um. One fateful day, he is in the workshop, and his something goes wrong with the one old of the, factory. The old factory making the robot droids that oppress the people. Which was a little bit of fucking PTSD for me for when I was working in PTSD. Yeah, it's just like a <laughs> PTSD. Yeah. But um, for when I was working in the in that similar sort of environment. Yeah, Geordie's it, dad. It felt yeah. like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, anyway, so the machine it, it kind of, what is it, like, fucked up? The door didn't close properly? It didn't seal properly? This machine, I, I find it, well, what happens is that a pallet is askew in the door, so it doesn't close. It doesn't close fully enough, which is funny because these doors are meant to have safety features in them. Mm. And it's a common theme that... There are safety features, but they're ignored. Like, it knows there's or, something or, stuck or in they, the door. they trigger after it's too late. Yeah, it knows there's biological matter in the chamber, but it does nothing because it's all about fucking continuing ahead, like, yeah. producing the product instead. It, like, that's just, you know, it's mm. it's not about human life. No, it's absolutely just, not. He gets um, fucking irradiated. Gets a, he, well, a yeah, his boss, man. like, like they, they see that the machine itself is fucked and the his boss matt damon's boss goes you either go in there and fix it or you're fired yeah and he goes in there and the door closes on him and he gets irradiated to absolute shit yeah thus starts essentially the plot of our movie here which is he has to get to elysium to get get to elysium because they have tanning beds which heal you yeah 
And that's that's the truth. They that give you tattoos happens. as well. You can get tattoos. They do. Them. There you go. Do everything. Um, so that, that, that becomes the goal of our movie at this yeah. point. And he decides, because he's got essentially nothing to lose at this point, and everything to lose at the same time, you know what I mean? Yeah. He decides that he's going to go back and speak with one of his old with sort spider. of kingpin bosses called the, the you know Spider. Yeah. Um, to see if he can get him a ticket to Elysium. Gets a little arm tattoo thing. He does, yeah. The whole confrontation where Spider does a really weirdly offensive accent. Like, yeah. The- no, man, you know, going up there kind of thing. Yeah. Like, weird. I can't tell if it's offensive because I don't think that guy talks like that. I don't know. I but don't know at all. I guess they 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 launch rockets. I mean, they launch ships. in Like, they, they hack into some sort of flying network thing. They need to hack the computers to fly. Mm-hmm. Which, I don't know how that works, but sure. And then they have, like, arm tattoos that are, like, their bio ID that the, the machines read to, like, you know, heal the people. Mm. Which irks me on an authentication kind of side, but, you know, whatever. No one's talking about <laughs> that. But uh, what 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 thwarts Matt Damon's plans, Jordy? What thwarts his plans? Yeah. Um, he... Some flesh wounds, maybe. Was it? I don't remember how he got... Shot Luke Copley or whatever? Well, he get, he gets he gets an exoskeleton. That's first of all, right? Yeah, yeah. To um, keep him alive, so he can long enough to get him to Elysium. Well, actually, what what the actual thing Spider would give him a ticket to Elysium if he stole info from a dude's head. That's right. Like the uh, yeah. the CEO of the the factory that uh, Matt Damon works in. I, what did the fuck was his name in the movie? Oh, I don't shit, remember his don't name. Remember. Me neither. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, the CEO dude, he comes down to Earth for some reason. I don't know why. Why would he even come down to Earth? Why, why wouldn't he just remote <laughs> in or something? I have but no idea. There's this other uh, B-plot of Jodie Foster and the uh, the Armatel or whatever manufacturing place mm. plotting a coup against much, like yeah. the Elysium leaders because Jodie Foster keeps using um, Kruger? This South African dude yeah. who's fucking crazy and has a bit of a loose cannon, an amazing accent. Yeah, that's the true. definition of it. I didn't know that was a South African accent until one of my sister's boyfriends, um, well, ex boyfriend, I, I guess. I was gonna, you, the way you said that, like one of your sister's boyfriends yeah, was like, like she had five. Yeah, yeah. I thought just, about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my sister's ex boyfriend, uh, He's South African, and he pointed that out, and I was like, "Is that such an elegant that, language?" That and it also is on the ship that he flies around on the yeah. South African flag. We what noticed f- that was that the actual flag because it had a bunch of other I think so, nations. But I'm on not, it. So, I'm not certain. I don't. I always imagine the South on record with that. Yeah, yeah, on record. I mean, guys, technically, I always imagine the South African flag is like green with a yellow Y in it, and then one half is a different color. But this had a bunch of other like nations on it. I guess it's some sort of treaty thing, but maybe yeah. Um, yeah, so he has. There's a coup being fucking staged, mm. and Jodie Foster makes the dude create a program in assembly to hack into Elysium. He writes assembly uh, update with his hands. Yeah, that probably doesn't sound. No, that's not that, clicking in my mind. But to the he writes compiled assembly. But the it's program a bit of a, is bit of an in depth joke. We'll yeah, it's it's a program that, that can sure. set a new president into the database, to the computer. Fair and, enough, um, dude. He uh, he puts that into his head. And he protects it using a lethal lethal virus program. Mm-hmm. So if anyone tries to steal the data from his head, they'll die. Yeah. And oh, looks like Matt Damon is trying to steal the data from his head. It does There's look an that way. Awesome scene with slow motion and guns and like yeah, VR headsets and robots. Fucking dope. Amazing fucking scene. Yeah. Um, of them like taking down the the copter, the fucking thing, and then literally everything looks perfect. And then them, like, stealing the data from his... I love the technical direction of this movie. It's like, pretty cool. I love all the little screens and, like, the tech and yeah. uh, little computers and the kit-bashed car that's made out of... looks like a DeLorean, but shitty. Yeah, they've... It's really... They've... they've they yeah. nailed... It's sort of, like, Mad Max-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like but they've done that with very, everything. Very cannibalized technology. Yeah, and all that. that's exactly... That's a good word for it. Yeah. Like, it's raw. There's an actual word for it. It's called kit-bashing, and it comes... It comes from when, um... When people who would make props for like Star Wars and all that, 
to make something slight you know how you know, you know how the death star looks it's all very mm. like blocky and square it looks like lego mm. what that is is that um model kits come in this little frame right and people would just go to like antique stores or like secondhand stores buy model kits and then just glue it onto shit it's called kit bashing huh you just grab random model kits and the frames and all that you just glue it together to build something sci-fi and everything in this movie is kind of kit bashed in that way there it's it's parts of other things all compiled together to make something new that looks awesome right okay and uh, yeah, you look very that, confused I'm, yeah i'm just sort of it's, i never thought of it that way it's an actual model maker like technique yeah that that's pretty cool it's working with uh you know making it interesting yeah the um the uh the concept artist in this movie i think their name is johnson ting i follow them on art station which is like an art kind of website board thing okay i think they did the concept art and they're very like they have that kind of style of taking images, like basically they do Photoshop collages of different things and compile it to kids to make the robots and all that. Like they'll grab pictures of cars and like machinery and just build it all together to make stuff. Like the art direction is amazing in this movie. I yeah, really love it. It, it really is uh, a treat for the eyes, this yeah. movie. Uh, where were we up to in the plot? We, we were up to them stealing the data out of the dude's head. That's right. Yeah. So you and, get the cool slow mo scenes where he does yeah. that. Um, it doesn't work. It didn't finish or something. Or yeah, it, yeah, it didn't. Finish. Some somehow Kruger in his South African jet sniffs data that was transferred using a cable. Yeah, yeah, and, and then he immediately <laughs> fucking launches into yeah. that to, directly to their position. Yeah, and well, pulls I guess out was... a fucking katana. Oh my god! Yeah, I forgot about and that. And just starts wailing on people. He fucking stabs a dude on the ground and the katana goes all the way through his body into the ground a good yeah. couple of feet like the amount of force that would require it's fucking horrid to think about how yeah. fucked he would be he has that. that um he has that force field thing that looks like a grenade that he like punches yeah. and that was pretty cool that was pretty cool too all the uh, like technical stuff in this movie is awesome but yeah that happens and then um Matt Damon goes and finds he's all fuck, fucked up because he got stabbed mm. and he cut and all that so he goes goes and finds his childhood friend do you remember that yeah, like at the hospital yeah. and it turns out oh and the childhood... possible love interest of course well, definitely definite you know, love yeah. interest at this point it's possible you know yeah and um yeah he creepily hits on her which is yeah. kind of weird and then um he goes to the yeah the hospital and she, it turns out she has a child who is in like the final stages of leukemia mm. and she pleads with him to like bring them up to elysium and then you know sad scenes happen he patches her up no she patches him up in in um in her fucking house and which is a bad idea kruger south african dudes find them and then they all go up to elysium i guess isn't that what happened yeah yeah and then um stuff happens stuff does happen yeah there's a weird scene with a thing on matt damon's mouth that goes all the way into his like mm -hmm. organs and shit which is yeah. creepy and then um I don't... Oh, no, there was the part where um, Kruger got his face melted as well. Yeah, and then reconstructed in a pretty cool yeah, scene. Yeah, I don't know how they did that. I'm guessing they just melted no like idea, a dude. fucking styrofoam prop or something. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool to watch. And I don't think... Do we? Uh, should we not spoil the ending for this one? I feel like people will be the most mad if we spoil this one. I guess so, yeah, because it, it's a good movie. Yeah. Like, Mostly, we, yeah. we've reviewed a few stinkers at this point, and this one is not a stinker, so... It's a good movie. Yeah. What are we going to watch next uh, today? I mean, uh, that's a good question. Um, Have you got anything in mind? Not a hundred percent in mind. Artemis Fowl. No fuck no, <laughs> absolutely not. Why not? Because if you Why want not? a review of that, you'll have to tune into this week's uh, Split View, where Dude, I it's do. A, it's a hot topic. Where They've already listened one. to it because. Mm. Oh, wait, no, they haven't. No. no, they haven't. You have to tune in for yeah. this week's split view before you find out Yeah, so my riveting review of Artemis Fowl. It comes out on Tuesday. It does. Um, <laughs> uh, why not, dude? Why not? I don't want to watch it again. I don't want to do we that to myself. We can get that clickbait, though. People are searching for Artemis Fowl in, on YouTube and Spotify and whatever, you know, for podcasts. All right. We I get guess those clicks, dude. I, I don't, I I don't know if I can get my um, Disney Plus account, though, because it's not mine. It's signed I'll, in on my TV. I'll ask my sister, I guess, or something. Do you have the app on your phone, though? Have no, you no, in because, like, my brother came into my room and logged in on my TV in case I ever wanted to watch Star Wars, which is the, the only reason I you said that was so odd. My Why? brother came into my room. The way you, like, <laughs> proposition that was weird. 
And he just sort of came <laughs> in and just did it, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't... I, I guess we, we shouldn't talk about too much of nah, the save of it, it for next week, I guess. Yeah, next week. Well, no, well, um, Elysium. Oh, for Elysium, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess we'll... um, first of all, I will say, like, out of all the movies we've watched, this one definitely has the biggest budget, so it is the most likely that our audience will enjoy this movie, I yeah. would say. Yeah. So I'm pretty safe to say that I would recommend it, and I think you would as well. I don't know if I would. You don't? I don't find it necessarily... I, like, I don't... I'm not really invested too much in the story. I mostly... I, I, I do kind of agree with you there. It's like, it's kind of like... I feel like most action movies don't really... It's a generic-ish story. Yeah. It's a template kind of movie. It's not going to stick with you, this movie, that you I, are correct in, in I that. Would, um, I would recommend it in the context of, like, if you're a modeler or a game developer or some sort of creative person, you're looking for, like, cool designs in that. Yeah, I would watch it for, like, something. Yeah, inspirational movie kind of thing. Because they will that do context. that, that's for sure. Yeah. It's pretty cool in that sense. Uh, if you're into, like, cyberpunk stuff, future tech kind oh, of things, you yeah. know? absolutely, yeah. And uh, to be honest, most people probably already have seen this. It's yeah. pretty big. Yeah. Action movies kind of thing. Yeah. Right? So I think from now on, I, I have heard from a few people that when we do flick views, you guys want it to be more sort of in depth and a little bit more got we substance asked for, dude. based, you know? So How'd you like it? You got what we asked for. I'm going to be taking uh, some more notes from now on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that we have more to talk about and all that sort of stuff. We're trying to decide whether we should watch the movie directly after. I mean, what the fuck? Like, uh, watch the movie should... and then jump in here and record yeah. it immediately at risk of it sounding probably a little bit worse because yeah, lots do of people will be home. Yeah. Um, or we do it the week after where it's a little less fresh in our memories as pretty much every week we've heard we you've heard us say what the fuck did we watch the week before you know yeah yeah but um we'll, we'll sort it out you know flick view is still in its early stages and we did say that you know it's not going to be as um professionally done as split view is but um i'm we'll, we will refine it so don't worry about that everyone yeah. um but for now though um tune in on sunday for the new split uh split view it's a pretty good one i think we just rec we just yeah. f recorded it i was about I to say filmed it, it but we didn't do that um, so we'll see you then, or we'll see you next week when you tune into uh, the Artemis Fowl one, I guess. That's what yeah. we're doing. See you next week, everyone. Ready. Bye.